first cast. I had a feeling. Weston! Whoa! Weston! Oh my god. Hey Siri, call Weston on speaker. One. God damn it. I just got the biggest fish. Oh god! <laughs> Whopper plopper! <laughs> Man. Whopper plopper bite at 708. Sun has just risen. First fish of the day. Yes! That came on this new Whopper plopper. We've never used it before. Kind of clear with a darker top. Just a clear bellied one almost. A little bit of a rattle. Good treble hook. Smaller size. This is the 90... 90F. And I got that on Carl's Bait and Tackle with our 30% off uh, membership. If y'all are trying to fill your tackle box, I recommend Carl's Bait and Tackle. I'll link them down in the description below. You can get up to 30% off of your tackle. I literally make a big order every single month, man. Stock up on new goodies to throw. Let's get it. Oh, he took it under. Fish number two for me. Little baby bass on that plopper. I was gonna say, they're missing this thing. Wonder what's going on over here. We need some big ones. Oh, he hit it as soon as it hit the water. Oh my gosh, dude. God. Flopper, flopper fish right here. Yes. Oop. Golly. Fish number three, be free. She's already on. She's already God, on. God, look at this chunk. <laughs> what is up, guys? Weston Smith coming back at you with, actually, my wife Devin is out there. She just linked up with her first fish of the morning on the chatterbait. We're with Chef Bad Bass and Pond Boys. We even got the bona fide yaks from the Guggen Squad warehouse. And we were at a private pond out in East Texas, if I didn't say East Texas already. And uh, about to have a blast out here, man. I already secured a couple bank fish. She's on next cast. Next cast, Devin's got another one. Oh my next gosh, white cast. chatterbait. Whoa, that one could be two to three pounds. She's out in the middle of the lake just drifting on this yak. Anyways, uh, enough about that. <laughs> I already caught a few bank fish on a Whopper Plopper, a smaller 70 size that I got off of Shop Carl's. I linked that in the description. It looks like uh, it looks like Chef, Chef and Torrance are over here on the bank just cruising. They're catching some fish obviously or they'd be moving. I'm thinking of getting the yak and heading over to this area right here. There's a bit of some reeds, there's some trees, there's a dock. It's gonna be freaking awesome and we have this place all to ourselves. Courtesy of a regular that goes to the restaurant that I valet at and then chef is the executive chef at. So we got exclusive access to this one for the day. There's some big ones pulled out of here. Hopefully we'll catch one for you guys. Let's get you over to the GoPro. Okay, we have made it into the water. Devin is freaking killing it right now on the chatterbait. So I think I'm just gonna go to where she's at and start throwing the crankbait. And it's only a matter of time till we hook up with the big one because she missed what she said was probably a five right off the bat. And right now she's on her third fish in just a short amount of time. And I would say the one that she's holding is two pounds, two pounds easy. Good solid two pounder right there. Yes, next cast. Oh, I think we found the money. Let's get it. Okay, on, on, big, big fish. What's in? Big. In. Yes. Yes. Let's break out the scale. Good deal. Two pound, 11 ounce. They are eating this chatterbait up. Guys, I don't know if y'all can see, but this water is pretty dang clear. I mean, I can see to the bottom right here vaguely, but they are loving these white chatterbaits, and I think it's got the vile bug tail on it. Let me show y'all really quick. Yes. Oh man, we gotta get another one of those big ones. That very first fish I had on, no doubt, no doubt was no less than five pounds. It hit right up next to the kayak. No lie, I was not prepared for it. I did not set the hook. I didn't even really know I had a fish. You'll see from the video and stuff, but all right, let's get this bad boy in the water and let's get some more. Number four, white chatterbait. Yeah. I just tied on a new trailer to my pretty little white chatterbait that's 
poohing it right now. Let's do some damage. But she had she had the location dialed in, dude. She was on him like three fish back to back. Oh, oh nice. maybe, maybe. No, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> that was a quarter pounder right there, y'all. But oh, Weston's on. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I had bites. Oh, he was so okay. He came right up to the boat. Oh, that was funny. Oh, this is gonna get smoked. I'm about to tie this on shotgun shad clutch. I think this is gonna be one of my new favorite lipless crankbaits. I'm about to get the rip knocker off of here and let's see if this thing is gonna produce. Devin is slamming them on the white chatter bait and this is a very similar presentation. We can fish it just about the same as that chatter bait, just keeping it close to the surface. Could be good. Devin's on again. Woo! Woo! This thing looks so good. Tied on for the first time ever, the Guggen Squad Clutch. Oh, shotgun shad. Oh, there he is. There he is. Woo! Second or third cast on the new clutch. Uh, oh, and we uh, we kind of side hooked him. Sometimes the bass whip for those crankbaits. You know, they're trying to go in for the kill, and then they end up side swiping one of those treble hooks, and so we actually had him side hooked, and he came off right there by the boat, which was good. You don't want to... You don't want to be hurting these guys. Oh, there we go. Hooked up. Next cast afterwards. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. This might be a three pounder. We got a good one. Yes. <laughs> Check him out. Where my pliers be? Look at that guy. Woo! Solid hooks on the clutch. big oh. <laughs> biggest one for me of the day so far he took my tail I want to say probably a solid three and a half pounder we got the scale so let's see but the scale isn't working I think the scale needs new batteries I think I broke the scale. There we go. Fishing right at three pounds. We got two pounds, 15 ounces. Look at this good fish. Oh my goodness. I don't even know. This is like number five, number six for me. Definitely my biggest one so far of the day. And look how fat these fish are. Oh my gosh, they are eating good. Let's get him back in the water and get back after it, guys. cast you guys after I just released that other one. Check this guy out. Sweet. Oh, got him. Oh no, he came off. Dang it. Oh, poor. Yep. Oh yeah. He's good. Oh god, he came off. Gosh dang it. Probably two and a half. Oh yeah, that's that's my juice zone right there. Let me get one. Let me get one out from under you. <laughs> oh, huge, huge. <laughs> Got him. You didn't want this one anyways. <laughs> oh, there we go. That one might be good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a good one. Woo. How big are we talking, Chief? Woohoo! God dang! <laughs> yeah, buddy! New state record! Woo-wee! There's my biggest one of the morning so far. Came on that shotgun shad clutch lipless crankbait, you guys. Got to pick you up a few of those puppies. They work, man. Let's get this guy back in the water. Oh. <laughs> mess that, that up. I always mess up the release shots. <laughs> Anyways, we got to try and catch a couple more. Pond boys, chef, they're on. Devin's been on. And now I'm starting to catch a little bite. Let's have it. Oh shit! That could be a 10 pounder, boys! Torrance and Western are both on. <laughs> Check it. This one actually feels a little heavier, but I don't know. Oh yeah, that's why. I got the grass. <laughs> Look, a it's a quarter pounder! <laughs> I thought I had legitimately a three plus for real. And I got a bunch of grass. Oh shit! Oh, look at that. 
Devin's on? Yeah, bike. You got one? You got one? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, this might be a good one. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, is it good? Up? In! Big! Is that your biggest one? Yes. Did barely you? hooked. Big boy right there. Pretty sure it will. Oh! Oh! Boo! Oh! Oh! I don't know. <laughs> I was quiet. Check out my little guy. Pew. There we go. Oh God! Oh. Jesus Christ! It pulled it out of my hand. <laughs> there you go, Chef. Oh, he came up. Oh, he took my tail with him. Change my GoPro battery change my trailer again and get back in there just realized i wasn't filming for this one let's get him off of here close my dry box because if it's open the stuff doesn't stay dry like it's supposed to ah there you go bud oh soaking wet nice right in the tree there we go oh yep right off the bat is that a fish i think it's a fish He's not the biggest! <laughs> Skiing! Right in the tree though, like, called it. There we go. Another nice one. Sweet. I'm making a move. I'm going to that tree. Let's go try up there with them, by the dock and stuff. First cast, I had a feeling. Weston! 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 Oh! Weston! Weston! Jeez. Oh my god. No. Weston! Hey Siri, call Weston on speaker. Weston! God damn it. I just got the biggest fish. It's like six pounds. Oh my god. Get over here. Paddle fast. Look what I just caught. This is my new new PB. Yeah. We decided to make our trek back to the other side of the pond. So Wes and I were kayaking back. He was ahead of me. I cast it. I got to the other side of those trees. There's trees right over here. Check this out. She was right, she was right on the edge of those trees. And I was, yeah, I was following him and I'm downwind and I got to the other side of those trees. I'm like, I'm just gonna make one cast out here with the chatterbait. I cast one time and this guy hit an absolutely crazy guys. Look at this. I didn't know how the heck I was gonna get in the boat. I was screaming at Weston and he couldn't hear me because he was upwind. No. That's bigger than any bass I've ever caught. <laughs> Bigger than any bat she's ever caught. It's about a seven pounder. This is nuts. Holy crap. White chatterbait. Oh. Now we gotta yes. catch, I guess I gotta catch a seven or an eight. Oh. Like what the heck? So uh, what's y'all's biggest bass right now? Devin just caught a six pound, 13 ounce. <laughs> six pound, 13 ounce, Devin just caught. Oh, <laughs> uh, she had chatterbait. chatterbait. Chatterbait in the tree over here. Awesome, dude. <laughs> All right, we'll probably come catch up with you guys. I'll see you in a second. All right, we made it over to the other side of the pond after Devin caught that monster. Literally the biggest fish either one of us have caught on this channel in the almost two years of fishing vlogs for you guys. Absolutely nuts. Woo! First one on the fluke, oh yeah. Boink. Always a fun catch on the fluke. Okay, that release took like four minutes. Holy cow. 
uh, I'm gonna keep the, <laughs> I'm gonna keep throwing the clutch but what happened is I had to like rip this thing basically out of that guy's mouth and I ended up bending one of the hooks and I bent it out too much and I just pulled it off so we have our one treble hook on the tail let's see if we can't secure a big old catch with it oh I had one oh no he came off dang I had him again it definitely picked it up and was nibbling it Got him. First T rig fish. Thank you for playing, buddy. Get you back in there ASAP. Ah, trench hog pulling through. Let's get another on there. Got him. Oh, nice. Sweet. Ah. Well, he's got a cool pattern too. Moving that trench hog out of the trees here. And this guy uh, smacked it. Nice size chunk out of them trees. Awesome. Let's get back in the woods. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I was swimming the hog and a little guy just darted right up to the boat and grabbed it. Big one just splashed right here by this one, one little tree branch. I'm gonna pass right by it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of trees. Oh, there's a lot of branches right there. Okay, I'm in it. Here we go. We're about to get bit. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Oh. Nope. Missed him. Oh, I got broke off. Well, we're caught in a predicament now because I need something weedless and I know the fish is there. Okay, let me just try the next fastest option. Uh, I'm not going to retie a Texas rig just yet. That's a whole ordeal when you're out on a kayak. But I happened to find a lunker log. This is a five inch baby bass if I'm not mistaken on the color and I happen to have a fluke rig tied up which is just a weightless hook for me and I'm thinking I'm just gonna throw this weightless Senko right there on that tree and see if we can't get doinked perfect positioning see if she grabs hold oh got him got him Woo! oh there's another one chasing it he wants the food. Awesome. Guys, I think this might be like a two and a half to three pounder on the weightless Sanko. Guggen Baits just switched over to it. Wow. Just switched over to the Lunker Log. This is 12 pound line and we are ripping it through the trees. Wow, good fish on the Lunker Log right after making that switch. That's fun. Got the job done, baby bass. Mm. All right. Let's try and get back on him with the Texas rig. This time with the weight though. just move it down into the water column a little faster that weightless was just not sinking at all so you know what time it is it is jackal gantrail time i have been seeing the bluegill on the other side of the pond by the dock and i'm wondering if one just out here all by his lonesome could bring in a big strike off of some of this off of some of these trees and brush and debris so i'm gonna just whip him across the top here and this thing just looks devastating Oh, got him, got him on the pause. I literally just went to adjust my hat. Oh my gosh, I got smacked. <laughs> Gantrail done, done it again, you guys. Wow, did not take long at all. But I want to get him back in the water quick because I just saw another bass burst right on that freaking twig. Fish. Good fish. What else there? I'm getting into all these spider webs. <laughs> no, chill, guys. Look what I just brought out. Beast mode. This tree is fire. I just got another really big one. All right, guys, look what I just pulled out of that same tree area that that Mondo was in. If I had to guess, I'd say a solid four and a half pounds or so. This guy is looking like he is indeed actually about four and a half pounds. Oh my goodness, I'm so pumped. That was definitely a sketchy catch. I was going in trees, 
I got all the tips to the rods. Thank goodness. Going in trees, full of spiders. We know how spiders are with me. <laughs> are you filming? That'll be like the best footage ever. I don't like them. Anyways, man, money. Getting them. That's a two and a half to three. That's a two and a half probably. And what I did there is since I was drifting away from that tree on that catch, you guys, I cast it right in there onto the like center tree, the almost like thickest branch I could get to. And then I had to open the spool because I wanted it to sink all the way down, but I was drifting away from the trees. And so what I did is I just allowed myself to uh, fall back in the wind, but keep that spool open that way the crack and crawl just drop straight down so a little pro tip there if I had the spool still locked shut the, the crack and crawl wouldn't have gone all the way down to the bottom in the strike zone where that fish was instead it would have been just drifting out from the tree with me so I kept it open let it sink down to where that fish was and then got that catch oh god oh god oh that was huge Woo! yeah he, he broke me off on the tree that was a big one Got him. Got him. Oh, nice. I'm drifting away. Oh, no. We'll have a little snack break. All right, here we are. I'm going to go walk over to the truck. Maybe get a little snack, a little drink. Replenish the systems. Catch you all in a second. at how torn up my hand is. <laughs> All right, guys, we are wrapping things up. It is three o'clock on the dot. We've been out here since 6.30 this morning, had a solid day of fishing. We got access to this private pond for the day, and it has been amazing. Oh my goodness. I caught my newest PV. Weston's gonna have to catch up because now my PV is bigger than his, which is uh, pretty. <laughs> Sucks. Anyways, it's been an awesome day. We've been out here with Chef Bad Bass and Pond Boy, so be sure to check their channels out as well. And thank you, Lunkers, for letting us borrow the kayaks. We will return them probably cleaner than they are now. <gasps>